If you're overwhelmed by never ending to-do lists, I have just the trick for you to help tackle those tasks, a to-do list in Excel. And this just isn't any to-do list. It features a link donor chart that visualizes completed tasks, giving you the extra push you need to get things done. Let's take a look. For example, here we have a basic to-do list in Excel, and we want to spice it up by adding a link donut chart to visualize our progress and keep us motivated to complete all our tasks. To create a donut chart to-do list, first things first, we need to calculate the percent of tasks complete and incomplete. Let's start by calculating the percent complete by dividing the number of checkboxes checked by the total number of checkboxes. To calculate the number of check checkboxes, enter the COUNTIF function, select the checkboxes as the range argument, and enter true as the criteria argument. Next, we need to divide this value by the total number of checkboxes by entering the divide symbol, followed by the count A function, and selecting the same checkbox range as the value argument. Enter this formula, and now we can easily calculate percent incomplete by entering the formula one minus our percent complete. Now that we've calculated both values, all we have to do is visualize these values with the donut chart. To insert a donut chart, select both the complete and incomplete percentages, navigate to the insert tab, open the pie or donut chart dropdown, and select the donut chart. Let's clean this chart up a little bit by deleting the title and chart legend by selecting each of them in the chart and hitting the delete key. Next, let's remove the chart border and background to give it an embedded look in our to-do list table by navigating to the format tab, opening the shape outline dropdown and selecting no outline, then opening the shape fill dropdown and selecting no fill. Now that we've cleaned up our chart, let's format the donut. First, let's thicken the donut by right clicking it in the chart, selecting format data series and setting the donut hole size to 5%. Next, let's remove the fill color for the incomplete portion so we can really emphasize on our progress by selecting the incomplete portion, clicking the fill icon and selecting no fill under the fill section. I'm also going to make the complete portion a darker blue to match the aesthetic of our table by selecting it in the chart and updating the color using the color dropdown. Last but not least, let's add borders to each portion as a finishing touch by selecting solid line under the border section and setting the color to the same dark blue. Repeat this for the incomplete portion by selecting it in the chart, selecting the solid line, and our chart is complete. The final step is to reposition it so it fits perfectly inside our to-do list table and we are finished. Now our donut chart will automatically update as we complete tasks, motivating us to fly through this list. You can thank me later for the extra motivation to complete everything on your to-do list. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks.